Guys, today we're gonna check out Cardano and its price prediction. So subscribe to the channel and like this video because I make videos every single day talking about the latest and best altcoins in the crypto market. And of course, you can check out my Patreon to get exclusive access to my private Discord server where we do talk about all of these altcoins. So here are in Coinbase, let's check out what's been happening to Cardano for the last couple of hours and the last couple of days. At the one hour chart, we can see that we're plus 1% here. And however, at the 24 hour chart, we're still minus 1%, so pretty much just huge amount of stabilization here. The one week here we can see we're, we're plus 18 percent up which is really good the one month here we're up by 10 percent so the whole month the whole 30 days here we've been just stabilizing so huge amount of stabilization the market cap for this coin is 42.1 billion the volume in the last 24 hours is 2 billion the secondary supply is 31.9 billion ADA now look at here the trading activity for this coin is 66 percent buy and 34 percent sell so this is not good basically we were at 73 percent buy and now we're 66 so it looks like we're losing the buying power but i think slowly things will change and the value of this coin will continue to go up basically now the problem we have right now is the volume the volume is only at 2 billion here this is not enough volume if we want this coin to continue to go up we have to have a lot more volume to just go up and make this coin go to two dollars so let's continue here let's go to trade view let's do some analysis on this coin here so basically as you can see now the whole market is kind of going down but it's not going too much you can see bitcoin is going down a little bit here like one or two percent ethereum is going down a little, a little bit here one or two percent but this is just a little bit of corrections guys the stabilization and corrections are happening to all of the coins here right now but what's happening to ADA? As you can see, still we are stabilizing in this huge area. If I do take my Fibonacci retracting here, I can show you guys that we're just, we're just stabilizing in this area between these two values. As you can see here, there you go. Two lines here, basically the stabilization between uh, 1.39, yeah, 1.39 and 1.26. This is the area we are stabilizing for the last couple of, of days now. So what is going to happen to this coin and will we continue to go up? So I think the bear situation for all the coins is pretty much over for now and that all the coins should continue to go up. Group proof for that is Ethereum here. So Ethereum has just been going up so much for the last couple of days. You can see that we'd had, we did have a huge increase of like 10 even 11% for Ethereum and Ethereum, like I said, we're going to go to 3K here pretty soon. So this coin is just building up. It's continuing to go up. Also, Bitcoin here, we did have this huge reversal. So like a week ago, we thought the Bitcoin will hit this level, this level right over here, $43,000, but we didn't. The exact same thing should have happened here to add it. But again, it didn't. We had the two giant triangles here. So giant triangles here and we did break to the downside to the first triangle, but to the second triangle, we did break to the top side exact same thing here happened to ADA we had two giant triangles so if you did see here one giant, one giant triangle here breaking to the downside the second triangle here breaking to the top side at the end so we did go to the downside but we did have a giant reversal and because that the value of this coin did go up and since then we've been just going up and stabilizing in this area so basically look at this look at how much increase we did have for this coin 35 almost 36 percent increase is just amazing to see just in like three days yeah basically that's so so good for ada here really good for ada here but can we continue to go up well now what i'm seeing here we're, like i said we're gonna need more buying volume as you can see we're slowly losing that volume here we're gonna need a lot more if we want to continue to go up the r side looking pretty good not gonna lie we're almost at the halfway point here which means we do have enough power to continue to break through and to go up now we're just waiting for that to happen we're just waiting for this coin to let us break through and what what needs to happen is we have to go take our fibonacci retracement again we have to hit this line again probably gonna go all the way there so we have to wait it out and see we have to hit this line again and when we do hit it only then we will be able to see what's going to happen the base we have to go all the way back here we are going to go all the way back here at the uh, 1.26 area and when we do we should be we should be able to rebound and then continue to go up now why did people sell the biggest reason why we got rejected here is because of day traders so if you do uh, take the measure here like i said 35 percent people who bought in this area of course they're gonna get that 30 percent yeah 36 percent profit so now that we did that now the people did sell off and did get the profit basically we're gonna what are we gonna see now if if we rebound in this area this time we would be we should be able to break through the, the coin we should be able to break through to this area and enter this like gray zone here 
and tried to hit this level at 1.55. Now, again, we're going to see a huge problem, and that huge problem is going to be that 20% profit is still a lot of profit, so people are going to take that 20% profit. So I feel like we are going to hit this level, but we are people are just going to take that kind of profit. So after that, I'm gonna we're probably going to see some rejection one more time, so rejection going down. So first we're going to go up here, hitting this level, and then probably going to get rejected. But we're going to get rejected in this level, and we're just going to stabilize here until we have enough power again to break through. After this, hopefully, what should happen to this coin is that we should be hitting the $2 area. And this is the most cru crucial area for this coin here. If we do break through, really good things can happen to Cardano here. So what has been happening basically? So this Fibonacci retractment is just telling us that these are all of the levels, these are all the supports and resistance areas. But because of all that's happening to this coin, Basically, we had made a giant triangle here. If I do go to the one day chart, you can see this triangle a lot better. So we did make a huge triangle for this coin. There it is, the huge triangle for this coin. And this triangle has been made in the last 80 days. So if you go measure since here, we entered this triangle. It's 78 days or something like that. So a lot of days have passed. We've been waiting for two and a half months for something like this to happen where we do break through to the top side of this triangle so a long time has been waiting for this to happen so what's gonna happen because of all of these rejection we're just getting more and more momentum to break through to the top side and because of this we will be able if we do get past this area this 1.55 if we do get past the 1.55 we will be able to go to a new different height and that different height is like i said two dollars so we can we will be able to see a huge increase from now on to those two dollars 55%. So a huge 55% increase is just waiting for this coin. Like I said, the only thing that needs to happen right now in the next couple of days, we have to first break through to the top side of this area here. We have to go all the way to 155. Once we reach 155, we're probably going to get rejected. Why? Because there's no way people won't sell this huge increase. Or people are 100% going to sell this huge increase. So they have to do it. They're going to take day traders are going to take that opportunity to take that profit. Now, if we want the maximum amount of profit for everybody, we have to basically do this, where we go up and we go down here. We stabilize a little bit and then, we, and only then we continue to go up. And if we do measure from here to here, we can see it's going to be a huge 40% increase. Of course, uh, people are going to let this happen. Why? Because people are seeing this giant triangle. This is why they won't sell too much, basically. They're seeing, everybody's seeing this giant triangle. Everybody's waiting for this to happen to this coin. And when it does happen, people will just buy the coin even more. So what's going to happen? Day traders will know it's time to buy. When we do pass this line here, this 1.55 area, once we do pass this line, the day traders will, will know it's time to buy. And when they do buy, we're going to see a huge green wick. And because of that, a lot of people think, okay, it's time to buy ADA because ADA is going up. If ADA goes up with 15 to 20%, then a lot of people will invest into ADA again. They're going to see a huge increase and we will, we will go to that two dollar area we're just waiting for this to happen of course it's not gonna be a fast thing it's gonna take some couple of days here for something like this to happen but like i said look at look at ethereum here ethereum is just exploding right now this coin is just amazing it's just going up and up and up and really good things are happening to this coin that's why if this coin can do this then i think that ada has the great potential also you can also check out we in here which has been also just exploding, going to newer heights, just doing some awesome and wonderful things here. But now we just have to wait it out and see what's going to happen in the future of this coin. Hopefully, reaching will be, hopefully, out of here, we will be able to do the same thing where we do break through to these levels and then continue to go up. And if this happens, really good things can happen to the coin. And I feel like a lot more people will invest into this coin. Of course, if we do have some great news about Cardano at the same time, that can be the next push that's going to help this coin to just explode and continue to go up. Like if we do get news right now in this area, we're going to explode here super fast. Like we're going to have that 15% increase pretty fast here. We're going to see some rejection stabilization in this area, in the gray area, and then have enough power probably to stabilize and then break through to the top of the triangle. Once we see the top of the tri triangle being broken, then we can see a huge amount of increase. By If we do measure it by here, by the Fibonacci tracker, we can see that it should be about 
dollars here which is really important so two dollars should be the next target for this coin now that doesn't mean it's going to just explode and continue to here maybe it will maybe that's a chance but probably some explosion up then stabilization then explosion up until we reach that two dollars i don't think we're going to just have one giant wick that's going to go up all the way to two dollars so going up stabilization going up this is what we need if we want this coin to actually succeed or we can see just something like this where we did have a huge increase so giant wick 150 percent increase if we had a hundred percent 150 percent increase in just only like three days here was it three days boom yeah based no 12 days here 12 days 150 percent increase then of course we can do 50 percent increase right over here it's not going to be a huge problem so what is going to happen is going to probably we just have to wait it out and see in the next couple of days we have to break to this area we're going to rebound at the 1.26 area then continue to go up to the 1.36 we're going to get past this area and hit all the way to 1.55 so once we get to the 1.55 like i said we are going to get rejected probably we're going to see some rejection but then we're going to have uh, some time to try to stabilize try to stabilize here in this area and then make the momentum to just blow up and continue to go up and that's the best bullish situation can happen to cardano here of course we can go bearish at any time here for now i'm not seeing something like that happen because i'm seeing just all the coins going up and because of that i'm just super excited because we're just seeing all the coins going up again we're not seeing any crash anytime soon and the bear situation that did happen to all the coins is probably pretty much over it's gonna be super over it's gonna be 100 over when bitcoin does reach the next level when bitcoin get passes its all-time high here so when that happens we can see a huge amount of increase here and of course you have to remember if bitcoin goes up by this amount like like 15 percent that means that ada will go up double that so 30 percent probably so 30 percent from here on so from now on should be something like this if i just squeeze this area basically 30 percent should be something like this where we yeah this is 30 percent here so this is the increase that we can have only by watching bitcoin now and because of that we're just gonna exit this triangle exiting this triangle is gonna be a huge trigger to make this coin explode even more and go all the way to those two dollars and i'm so excited for this to happen a lot of people are investing into cardano a lot of people do believe in this project so i feel like it's gonna be pretty easy for this coin to reach those two dollars pretty soon here but guys i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to invest into these coins please do your own research first hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did it means so much to me if you can like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video